this project is this project is to establish uh, the sovereignty of of man human beings on this universe and modern science technology <clears throat> are the tool of this quest and that has actually um, defined the nature of modern science and technology and this is the common project of uh, all forms of uh, humanism, uh, liberalism, Marxism, etc. So this is the modernist project, and basically that's that's why we, we say that it's an APC project. Um, so it's it's making human beings into God, and capitalism is the civilization which this project establish establishes and the purpose of capitalism is to overcome scarcity and create abundance so there is no limit on human will and desire and obviously it's a very successful project but this project hasn't established hum human sovereignty it has established the sovereignty of desires and the sovereignty of uh, these desires are um, sovereignty of desire in the sense that they, these desires become autonomous and they rule over humanity and human beings as Quran said so it is a, in actual fact what rules and what becomes God is obviously not human being human being is not a God and can't be God um, but desires autonomous desires so desires are the Lord of or God of this civilization or this and obviously it is destroying human beings human civilization as well as uh, our universe as we can see uh, as Quran uh, you know says Zahar al-Fasad fil barri wal bahri bima kasbat aydin nas and about desires Quran says that you know afraita man itakhada ilaha hawa so have you seen those who have made uh, desire into their God and Lord so that's not some simile it's an actual fact and it's one of the miracles of Quran that it actually predicts or uh, projects um, the existence of or the possibility of civilization which is ruled by desires okay so this is the modernist project. So this is um, modernism. Now, Muslim modernist project, project as is uh, clearly uh, enunciated or at least employed by Lam Iqbal in this discussion, is a project which says that in the, the Quranic Obviously, not every Muslim modernist says that it's like that, but Iqbal is saying it in this way. The Quranic emphasis on the nature and the vastness of universe, the universe. Um, carries in it, and these are Iqbal's words, the promise the promise by God obviously here what is the promise the promise of um, complete uh, subjugation by man and obviously two men of uh, this vast uh, universe or at least our, <laughs> our universe although in his poetry Alam Iqbal um, actually says the universe as well because uh, and all that um, so this Muslim modernist project uh, called for subjugation of nature to man as a promise of God 
And this justification of modernity um, in religious terms is not new, uh, you know, early modernity, you know, um, in, in earlier justification of modernity, we see, for example, uh, very important and influential religious uh, justification of modernity of the modernist project of the sovereignty of man. For example, in Locke, in Locke is very influential Christian justification of modernity, or even Kant. And Kant actually recognized that, that this project, this project is the project of uh, human sovereignty, is the project of making a human into a god. Uh, and through this sovereignty, he actually shares a community with God, because God is a sovereign and humans are sovereign, potentially sovereign, and now they are actually becoming sovereign. So the whole project of modernity is to make human being co-worker of God or co uh, Co, uh, co-worker of God or companion of God in that sense. Okay, so Muslim modernist project is the project of that Muslim modernists say at least those with religious bent because there are Muslim modernists who are not religious. They, their Islam is more like Judaism in the sense that they are Muslim because they culturally belong to Islam, not that they believe Islam as a divine religion. But these Muslim uh, modernists, they believe in Islam as a divine religion. So, but God has promised us a sovereignty and. Uh, sovereignty over nature uh, and that's why science and technology are actually mus Muslim inventions as Iqbal would say and not just a, uh, so it is a promise but with this promise comes a duty duty of human beings duty of humanity to carry out this project and Iqbal says it here so whose duty that it's, it's human beings duty to reflect on the signs of God that is nature And he will interpret it as doing science and technology, as we'll see. And discover the means. That's the means is technology. Discover the means of realizing his his conquest of nature. That is his lordship of nature. So Muslim project also believe in sovereignty of uh, humanity and human beings, but sovereignty of human being as a viceroy of God, in a sense. And that's why the prophets have been sent, <laughs> so people can you know subjugate nature to their will as the viceroy of God, and this is the mission of God. And that Locke says that, and, and Muslim modernists say that. And uh, even those who are not modernists, like anti-modernists, uh, in theory, but, you know, are, their political thought was, um, imp uh, you know, influenced by this project, for example, even our, our Imam Mulan uh, he he, you know, justifies democracy on this basis, and part of liberalism on this basis. That human beings are viceroy of God, and in that sense, Mulan Madhuri is heavily influenced by Locke in a sense. Okay, so this is the Muslim modernist project. Now, what is the project of Islam, and what is the Quranic project, and what's the Abrahamic project as against these two projects? The Quranic pro project, on the other hand, the, the message of the prophets and the messengers, which has been misinterpreted mis misinterpreted by modernist Muslim and Christians, including Alam Iqbal here, is totally uh, at loggerheads with this uh, idea. In fact. Uh, Islam would call uh, the bearer of this uh, project Hizb al-Shaytan. So the Quranic or Islamic project is to reflect on the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, reflect on the universe and nature and changes in nature in order to realize the immense power of powers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then after this re re uh, realization, subject your will his will to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's what Islam is. And to realize that this uh, our life in this universe is transitory as a test whether we obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's commandment or are persuaded by shaitan to you know obey his desires and his whims. And the purpose is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in that the so worship is totally the direct opposite of sovereignty. Worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the exact opposite of the uh, modernist and Muslim modernist project of establishing human sovereignty. And Quran doesn't tell us to conquer nature or subjugate nature to our will. No? Saying that Quran actually says that you can't do that. It's only by mercy of Allah and His, His uh, 
in arm or his uh, bounty on you that he has subjugated part of nature to you through his will it's not we who subjugate it, but allah has subjugated it and that's why we can actually use it or misuse it so the nature and technology is given us so we use it as a trust of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to sustain our life here whose main whose purpose is to worship allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will see who uses them and who misuses them as uh, quran says is again and again and again so this these are three different projects two of them are linked to and uh, they are opposed to the islamic project the project of the prophets and the messenger 